Hi guys, Podmaster here, and today I'm going to be doing a May 2019 Funko Pop haul. So let's get started. Alright guys, so although this video is, in, is coming out before May is technically over, I kind of wanted to do it now for two reasons. One, I'm not, I don't really have anything that's either, like, any more pops that are either coming in or that I'm going to go hunting for for the rest of this month, which is only, you know, two or three days or so. And also, i always been kind of doing these a bit later than I usually want to, like, seven or eight days into the next month. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to do it right now so I don't forget about it. It's not delayed. So I have a lot to go through here, so let's just kind of get into it. I'll try to go fairly quickly with this so it doesn't take too long. So the first one we have here is a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive uh, Chewbacca. I'll try to get that in a better light there. There you go. And this is from the Empire Strikes Back when he's in the kind of, I don't know what that creature is called. If you guys know, just let me know. I don't know what it's called, but they have to put on these masks to go outside, and that's kind of what this pop de depicting. So there's that one. It's a really cool one. And next, I want to show you guys some spastic plastic, spastic plastic pops I picked up this month because... I filmed an unboxing of this, but somehow it didn't say with my camera, so I really want to show you guys these ones so you guys can get a better look at them. So, yeah, there is six characters. So, yeah, there's... Wait, so five or six? No, there's five. Sorry, there's one out here that shouldn't belong in this, so... The first one I got, which is the newest one that came out, well, one of the newest ones, is Chet. And Chet's supposed to be kind of like a racer um, person because he has the kind of the helmet on and the checkered flag that racer people used to start. And he has his own little name tag right there, which is really cool. So there's Chet. And then there's also Big Al. And he has kind of a bow tie, you know, Fez, Martini, the works. And he's just a really funny pop. And this is him in a lavender color. And the base one is in a blue green color, which I do have. So I really want to get this one for my set. And we also have Monkey Assassin, which is a really funny one. So he's kind of like, this is a monkey, but he's dressed in a suit, and he has kind of a katana sword. And it looks really funny because, I don't know, just kind of the whole, like, it's just kind of a really just random character, and he, especially kind of the facial expression, the kind of the, I mean, the long eyebrow just really matches that really well. So, sorry, there we go. That's a really, there he is right there. And then I also got Orange Gill, which is another one. This is the third version of Guild that they made besides the SDCC version and the purple version. I do have the purple version, but I don't have the uh, green version. And yeah, that's the Guild. He has kind of fins on the back and everything. Also, we so the last one we have in the set is Wolfgang. And Wolfgang is kind of also another really funny one. He's, he's kind of has a bowling ball in his hand right there. And then his shirt is ripping at the top as well as on the kneecap. That's really cool, and then his head's kind of, you know, out, really hinged out over his body and everything, and just, you know, just really big and heavy pop. And this month, um, maybe actually on Wednesday, actually, they might be releasing the, there's a red one that's supposed to come out, and yeah, his fur is red, and then the bowling ball is actually an eyeball, so I'll definitely be looking out for that one. Hope you'll be able to pick it up. And here's Wolfgang. Okay, next we're going to do Riverdale pops, because I got a bunch of Riverdale ones this month, I think three or four. So, uh, the first one I got was Reggie Mantle, and this, he's, if you guys don't know, if you haven't watched the show, he's kind of, you know, he's basically kind of the, you know, stereotypical jock of the show, you know, he's plays football, he's not too smart, I guess, and that's really depicted pretty well in his Riverdale uh, high school football uniform with the matching shorts and everything, and they even added some dirt on the back as well as the number. So a bunch of kind of little details that really flesh this pop out, so there is Reggie. And something that's interesting about the actual character in the show is that he has been recast. So there's one actor that played this character the first few episodes of the show, and then there's one that played him in the rest of the show. And then these next three here are all from this one kind of random flashback scene, I guess, in season one. So we have oh, whoops, uh, Veronica Lodge in a uh, purple dress, and then we have Betty Cooper in kind of a pink and uh, green dress. Sorry, it's, there we go, go off the side there. And then we also have Archie Andrews right there. So I'll, if I can find a clip, I'll play, I'll play you the clip of the scene right now, because it's gonna be a really long time to find. 
Is it warmth and familiarity? Some idealized, make-believe version of the American dream? All right, you guys, so you just saw that scene, and let's just keep going here. So uh, next I'm gonna do Aladdin. And I got a bunch of Aladdin pops this month because of, you know, the new movie coming out and everything. And I saw the movie this past Saturday. I thought it was okay, you know, it was, you know, some parts were better than others, and I didn't really like how they did Jafar's character. He, he felt kind of underdeveloped and really unnecessary to the plot, but that's just kind of how I feel about it. Speaking of him, here is Jafar. He has this kind of little staff and this little feather on top and everything. And there's in the back of him with the turban. Sorry, looks really good. And then there's Aladdin of Agrabah in his street outfit. He does come with a little abu, but I don't know what happened to him. I think he like lost him or something. And then we have Genie with you know Will Smith, also with a little cherry on top. If you guys didn't know that moment from the movie, that's really funny that they put it that there. And the kind of blue swirling clouds right there. And then we also have Jasmine Desert Moon. This one was a Hot Topic exclusive that I ordered online. And this is from, you know, when she's kind of walking down the steps to meet the prince. Uh, the, not, not Aladdin, but the other one. It's it's shown in the trailer, so it's, I don't know, it's a really detailed pop. And I, I especially like the veil on the back right there. Next, okay, let's do um, some Green Giant stuff. So, uh, the, recently I picked up both of the new Green Giant Funko Pops. And if you guys don't know, Green Giant is a vegetable company. I can vegetables like corn and beans and stuff. And I've, I've eaten you know, Green Giant vegetables for a while now. Like, especially when I was younger and I really liked them. So, I really wanted to get the Pops when they came out. So, in this set there is the Green Giant himself. Is, and then he, I like how they have the alternate different colors for the face and the hair. So the hair is kind of you know, all leafy and stuff, and then it's you know darker green, and then his face was lighter green, and then just kind of the sash and the boots and everything. And then there's also his, I guess, son, Sprout, I believe. I don't know if Sprout's actually his son or not, but he has the same kind of color dynamic with the leafy hair, then the green face, and then the um, you know darker green sash on. So there, there's those two. And then... Um, I also got a Toy USA mystery box. It was damaged, and I got a... That was probably one of the best mystery boxes I've ever gotten because pretty much every single pop in that box I either didn't have or wanted. So in that box, I got the Force Awakens Kylo Ren fighting on a circular base in the, with the kind of snow and everything. I got Walmart, the Walmart exclusive Poe Dameron in X-Wing suit. I'm sorry, the lighting's just awful right now. Oh, Dameron and X-Wing suit. I also got Shurit Imwe from Rogue One. This one's just a common. It's kind of an older pop. Uh, come on. There we go. He has a staff right there. I used to kind of fight the Stormtroopers. And then there's a Hot Topic ex exclusive Poe Dameron in jacket with a rifle. I'm assuming this is from the beginning of the film, but I'm not really sure on that. <laughs> And then, okay, there's those three. And then there's also an Officer K-Pop from Twenty Blade Runner, but I don't know what happened to it, so that's also in that box, keep in mind. And then last but not least, we got Toucan Sam. And if you guys haven't seen my reaction to that uh, opening this mystery box, it's just priceless. It's really awesome. And you just kind of look at him. He's an ad icon from Fruit Loops. Alright, next up, I all, I did kind of a random uh, haul slash run to Barnes & Noble the other day. So I picked up some pops from there. So first up, we have Captain Crunch with Sword. This is just, it's a common ad icon. And I also got director J.J. Abrams. And this one is, I really want to get this one because he is actually directing episode 9 that's coming out later this year. And I'm really excited for it. And the box looked really good as well because it actually kind of had this blank galaxy and stars on the back, you know, because he's directing Star Wars and everything. That's It was a really cool touch. And also his glasses look super good as well. All right, and then we also got Batman 1989, one of the only pops I still have in box. And this is the first one from the Batman 80 years anniversary that I've been able to pick up because most of them have either sold out before I got to a store or I don't really want them. And I just love the boxes on these ones, you know, the, the whole black and silver aesthetic that they have, you know, at the top here and then at the, I guess all around the box, this looks super good. And I just kind of want to buy all these just for the box alone, it's just so detailed. 
And yeah, this is one from the 1989 movie. So it's not like from a TV show comic. It's from the movie with, you know, uh, Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson as a Joker. If you guys don't know. And last but not least, I got the We Bear Bears Flock 3 pack. And I remember I did a hunt for these, uh, the regular ones a while ago, and I was never able to pick up Panda. And if you guys have seen some of the pop hunt videos I've done since then, my local GameStop has a Panda, but the mouth decal is actually misprinted. So instead of being here, I think it's up here or here or something. So it's kind of like my version of Top Pops with the Prince of Keen Pop, where it's kind of like you always see it. It's a super easy, kind of like damage or defect in some way, and you just never buy it. But. Speaking of kind of damage, this box has a little bit, so as you guys can see on Grizz right there, it's kind of torn. And then on the top there's also a little bit of tearing, but this is the best box condition I could find. And other than that, the flocking looks really good, and Panda does not have a misprint mouth, so don't worry about that. There we go. Flocked, Barnes & Noble exclusive 3-pack. I really need to find that Panda, I'll find it eventually. The only complaint about this one is it actually cost $40, which is crazy for only three pops at retail price. Okay, uh, that is everything from that. So let's move on to Stranger Things, which I got, I think I completed the entire wave. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's nine here. Okay. So I've shown these off in some previous videos, so I'm going to go quickly with these. So, the first one, why is this, is this her stand? Yeah. All right, wait. Hold on, what? I'll figure this out later. Uh, here's Max right there in her summer outfit with the whole sunglasses and everything. There we go. And then here is Eleven in shopping mall outfit. This is Will the Wise. And here we have Lucas, the newer version. And then there's Hopper in his kind of date night outfit, I guess. And then we have Dustin in his Camp Nowhere outfit. I ordered the Walmart exclusive version of this one, by the way. And then we have three more. We have Erica. And also I want to show you guys the back. So she actually has some kind of dreadlocks going on and she also has this kind of really this really funny my little pony backpack and then we have battle 11 with the with kind of the bird box pop i almost want to call it because of the bandana and everything and last but not least we have steve if i give you a little bit of a look at this one i'm going to try to go pop hunting for this on on for the barn sorry for the baskin robbins version on uh, saturday all right, guys, so that is all the pops I got for this month. I think we have almost 30 or over 30 pops, which is absolutely crazy. Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Pop Master, me showing all the pops I got in May 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.